Hi, this is Connor and Ruby from Pennsylvania, and you are watching The Omar Gosh. Hey guys, welcome to my life movie today. Something crazy just happened right now. You don't hear him? Okay, so I came outside here. My cat was crying. And it's funny because I had a dream about this. I think my cat Minge had her kittens. And she had them outside. You hear him? I hear him right here. Oh, they're in here. They're in here. Oh my gosh, look. Look, there's five of them. Oh man, I feel so bad. Like she had them all out here by herself. That's okay. At least she protected them. Yeah. Oh, oh, well, she had five kittens. Damn. I feel really bad that she had them outside. I was trying to bring her inside last couple of days, but she didn't want to stay inside at all. It was like it was meant to be for her to have these babies here. Oh, look, she's being protective. She hears Luna outside. She's like, get out of here. <laughs> I know a lot of you heard it on my last video, and I was being serious. If you want a pet kitty, you know, in about a month or so, I'm going to have some available. Congratulations. Congrats. Good morning, fam. You guys ready to come outside and play? It's so crazy because I had a dream maybe like three or four nights ago. It goes to show you that we should trust our dreams a little bit more. My dream was my cat having babies outside. Um, except like in my dream, like she had them like by these palm trees over there and I was actually scared that an animal was gonna eat them. But good thing she's safe. She found a good spot for her kitties, but we gotta bring her inside. Good morning, guys. Come out to play. Every single morning when I bring Luna out to potty and I take the chickens out of their cage, she, like, she'll stay here for like 10, 15 minutes running around the cage. This is the reason I can't have my chickens just running wild around my yard. It's because of her. It's because of you. It's because of you. You guys want a good morning treat? Oh, you, you think I like you more than the other chickens, huh? Here. Yum! It's funny, my rooster, like, he'll eat a couple of worms and he'll see that the hens are occupied and he'll want to mate with them as they're eating worms. That's my rooster, by the way. It's a bantam silky. He's trying to get Raven. <laughs> I mentioned in a previous video that I was going to do a live stream when my cat gave birth to her kitties. I'm really bummed out that I wasn't able to do that. I'm actually bummed out that, I mean, for one, that she had him outside and that I wasn't able to be there for her. Like, I feel so bad. I'm not even sure if she had more than five. And maybe one died and she ate it. Um, good thing I didn't get to see that part if that did happen. Maybe wondering why I didn't get her fixed. Well, she was like a kitten not too long ago. For real. And I thought she was too young to be fixed. Well, hey. Tell you what, if you have a kitten, like get them fixed like right away because they're ready to have babies instantly. I remember there was a time where I had her in my videos and some of you guys said she was in heat because the way she was acting. Well, guess what? I was keeping her inside. Melissa let her outside one night and I think that's the night that she got pregnant. We weren't sure she was 100% pregnant until she started showing, obviously. And I was like, hey, your belly's really big, man. Oh, look how she grabs him. It's like built in their DNA to be mothers. So cool. Can't find it. You're a good mommy. So proud of you. Sorry you were alone. Glad everything is okay with the kitties and Minge. 
the mama. We're gonna keep her in here. Gotta bring her a litter box. I well, just thought I'd share that with you. Even though we weren't able to do a live stream, we're still able to see where she had her babies. So cool. Myla! She looks like a little alien. A little alien. A little alien cat. I'm not sure what kind of boat that is, but it sure does look cool. Maybe it was restored. I mean, that almost looks like a car. That's a Cadillac symbol, isn't it? What is that? That's cool. Mm. They are retro out. Oh, that looks awesome. I got a surprise for you. You seen it? Oh, I wanted to surprise you. Well, Max ruined the surprise. I thought I'd come over here and be like, hey, Malia, guess what? So, dang it. They say that you shouldn't touch them for a week or so. Because the mom could abandon them. Hey, what are you doing in here? Hey, you're going to have to go. You're going to get yelled at. What did this thing happen? This morning. She got them in the little outhouse. Yeah. The outhouse? Yes. Mm -hmm. Our well, our well area. Yeah, for about a, a week. Just gotta let her bond with her kitties. What do you think, Ethan? I think they're cute. They're pretty cute, right? You want to keep them all, Malia? Yeah. No! Are you playing Roblox, Max? Mm -hmm. Have you found John Doe? Not yet. What are these called? Hirachi? Hirachi shoes, okay. He got these for Christmas. And I guess the shoelaces got messed up. You want to see what he did for shoelaces? He put straws in there. Look, even the other other ones have straws. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. It's like the new thing. We were driving down this road here the other night, dropping off Malia's friend at her house, and Melissa was driving, and she went. <gasps> she ran over a bunny. Good, poor little yeah. I wonder if it got picked up. I'm not seeing it. It was up above. Was it up above a little bit? Mm -hmm. Oh, we were driving down the same road right now. Most like, I hope I don't see the bunny. Because we actually went another way back home. We didn't go the other way because she felt so bad. I'm sorry. I hate hitting animals, man. Well, it's not like you meant to do it. You know, but she was smarter and ran back. Tried to... We shouldn't have been in its area. We're in the bunny's land right now. I think it survived. Yeah. Probably around just. This bend. It was around this bend. Yeah. Here. We're gonna find out right now. Yeah, not not seeing no bunny. I think it probably survived. Oh, I got eaten. No, it just it had a it had a scratch. Man, <laughs> I felt the bum bum bum. I felt so bad. Malia had me bring her friend here. It's Lacey. I told her to bring some money, so. Here, she brought some money. You can pay for the tip with that. Is that cool? I asked Malia what place she wanted to go, and this is what she picked. It's like a Japanese steakhouse. I actually did a 360 video here. It's really cool. You go back and check it out. And it's, you know, it's one of those videos that you can move around with your finger or tilt your phone a certain way. It's like an interactive video. A lot of fun. Ooh. This place is awesome. And it's string. It's like water on a string. I think I embarrassed my kids. Gross. Me and mom making out. Oh, I think this is a breakfast thing. Last thing, last thing about that is you guys just. That's nasty. That's nasty. You guys are just. You guys, mom and dad, you would make it out. Damn. Okay, how do you do it? You know what I'm saying? Don't mess up. I just poured it on. You're spilling it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's walking on your leg. For real? Yeah. <laughs> it's called 
pencils. Wanna play pencils? Huh? <laughs> Use this side. You guys are worse than little kids. How do you just fire? Ready? Fire in the hole. Are your eyebrow hairs okay? Huh? There's rice on my plate. I don't want it. Okay, one bite. But after you. I have another one, don't worry. You just got right. I just bit my finger back. I didn't hit the finger, okay? I hit the middle and then that thing went up. That's what you get for playing games. I didn't even hit you. I gotta go to the hospital now. He broke my finger. I hit, I didn't even hit the finger. Look, it's out of place. Hey guys, I have a question for you. Have you ever like thought you had to go number two really bad, and you get to the toilet, and it's just a fart? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> it sucks. But you know, what? I would much rather have that problem than the other way around, where you think you're gonna fart and you know, surprise. I'm gonna give you guys some sneak peeks of some really cool videos I'm working on. You guys wanna hear what I'm gonna do? Kids are excited about it, and they're gonna help us out, or no girls allowed, what do you think? No girls allowed? Should it be just a guy thing? No, girls allowed, girls allowed. Only if we can make out. <laughs> should, should we do it tomorrow? You got an idea how you're gonna do it? Um, no, but I don't know, maybe, maybe you guys could help me with some ideas. Okay, I'll explain when we get inside. Remember when we were kids and we used to do those like blanket forts? I'm thinking about doing a really insanely cool blanket fort overnight challenge video. I'm gonna do it in my living room. I have a big living room. So this is gonna be really fun and sky's the limit on the level of creativity that we choose. I'm envisioning lights. I'm envisioning like a castle looking thing. I don't know, I'm thinking big. I'm not sure if it's gonna be as great as I'm envisioning in my head, but who knows? But yeah, well, we're gonna need some blankets. I only have so many blankets at home. We should get some colorful blankets, but not too expensive. Yeah. Okay guys, minor setback here. This is gonna be very expensive. We're still gonna do it though. We just can't use like frozen themed blankets. Yeah, $30, Jurassic Park theme, Minion theme, Batman theme. I have an idea of how I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna use rope and, I don't know, I'm contemplating on putting this on the rope and hanging the sheets on this or I might I might just use clothespins, do it that way. What do you think? Clothespins are cheaper. Yeah, they are, they are cheaper. So I got some fun colors here. I got red, turquoise, purple. I wish I had pink, you know, like some other fun colors. They don't have a whole lot of colors. And we got this big outdoor one. This is gonna go on the floor. Plus we got some sheets at home. These are all king size sheets too, so. I think it's gonna be too heavy, like king size sheets. No, they're light. All right. No, yeah. We need to find some lights. Okay, come on. How many feet is that though? 40 feet? Oh, that's plenty. 
Oh, you got a couple of those. Yeah, man. All right. Other than price, we have another minor setback. We don't have lighting here, so we're gonna probably do the lighting thing tomorrow. Plus, Melissa said that we have some Christmas lights at home that we can use. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna check that out. So yeah, man, stay tuned for tomorrow's video. It's gonna be awesome. Oh, it's fast, hold on. I need to get speed. Hey, there you go. <laughs> Remember that Wii game where you hula hoop? Yeah. On the Wii balance board? I sucked at it. I used to love these. I know. Remember the for reals? Look at this mini shopping cart. Oh, cool. It actually wheels around and then they have these, these things. Love that. One thing about Malia that you guys might not know, when she was like a little girl, she used to be scared of baby dolls like people would get her a baby doll for her birthday or something and I need one why I like so I can fit baby doll things on their heads oh I see what you're saying the way to start making oh just take the head off making hats for babies you want to get some of these yeah I've seen someone let's get it it looks so funny you just go boom and bounce off them that'd be fun to get a bunch of them like this all like bounce into each other. What if you go inside one and jump in the pool? You just go inside and jump, yes. and jump in the pool. Oh, cool! You want one? Want to wear matching uh, fry, Five Nights at Freddy shirts? I don't even have my size. Five dollar make it holla. Only bad thing about buying clothes from Walmart is sometimes you could be out in public and you'll match somebody random. I've had that happen before. Oh, let me know in the comments if you've worn something and then you see somebody like at a store somewhere you're like, oh, they must shop at the same clothing store as me. Hi, baby. How are the kitties doing? All right, guys, we need some names. Let me know in the comments. Some good names. I have no idea if they're boys or girls. Oh, I smell cat fart. Me too. You know that she actually eats the cat poopy? Like yeah. when they poop and pee? She'll, she'll eat it. Yeah. I gotta wash this. Nice job. <laughs> I have no idea how I'm going to do this, but this is where we're going to do the blanket fort. And I have a feeling she's going to destroy it in like three seconds. So yeah, can't do it with dogs around. Guys, this is going to conclude today's video. I appreciate you sticking around and hanging out with us for the day. Please come back tomorrow. It's going to be another fun video. I can't thank you enough for how much you guys have been supporting the Omar Gosh channel. I do truly appreciate it. A lot more love here than my other channel that has almost 700,000 subscribers, man. I'm telling you, I feel way more love here. Now, before you go, you're gonna have to give me a kiss. Love you, love you, love you. Peace. Why does it keep saying bye? Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Is it saying bye or hi? Bye.